Thank you, Chairman Boxer. Um, I strongly agree with what Chairman Waxman has said, and I think it's almost impossible to overlook the importance of safety. We always talk about transportation in terms of outmoded bridges, and now we have the phenomenon in some of the eastern parts of our country of um, natural gas trucks weighing up to 120,000 pounds going over single single lane rural bridges, and you know, the c catastrophe is, is at hand. So safety is important. Uh, I want, I want the money spent on, um, for jobs and for transportation and for bridges and for all kinds of uh, transportation uh, modes. But in, in so doing, we have to be very, very conscious of the safety aspect. Uh, the, we talk about safety almost as if it was something that came along uh, that would happen naturally and that it's not the way it works. You, you have to pretty much talk in legislation about what safety is going to be, and, uh, or else it won't happen. Uh, you know, we've, we, we talk about reducing drunk driving, and, and uh, uh, that's still very much of a priority. Uh, we talk about increasing seatbelt use. I mean, I, I can remember when I was a teenager plus something, not using a seatbelt and thinking that was pretty cool. I can't imagine who it was that I was thinking about at that time, but you know, there's still a lot of people who don't use seatbelts, and you got to have, you got to make people do that. Uh, if it if it's not legislative, it has to be through a fine of some sort, um, increasing child safety, which Chairman Waxman referred to, incredibly important. Children are larger, and, and the, the seats that they sit in in cars are different thereby, uh, but. The, the, not necessarily the industry hasn't changed the way they make the seats or the way they make the attachments. They may not relate to the way the cars are made. These are not dramatic, but they're tremendously dramatic in terms of what can happen to a child. Uh, re distracted driving is, is a huge subject. Uh, thousands of people die. Th hundreds of thousands of people are injured because of distracted driving. It's simply that uh, somebody in a West Virginia, you, there are very few straight roads Madam Chairman, in West Virginia. There are a couple, but very few. And uh, if, you, if you text, uh, just a normal sort of a text exchange is about 4.6 seconds. That's, that's covering two football fields. And in two football fields in a West Virginia highway means you're going over a cliff or into a tree. <laughs> and that is uh, humorous to say, but not humorous to if you're a parent or if you've suffered that disease. I think defective auto parts. We've had a lot of activity in the Commerce Committee because our job is safety in this in this uh, conference, but in general too, uh, consumer protection and safety. And the uh, we have defective auto parts. We've dealt with that. That was reference was made to the uh, you know the speed up that you can't stop. I've had experience with that myself in an American car twice. Uh, that you just, no matter how hard you put on the brake, you got to stop that stuff because people die from that stuff. And that's what uh, we go about doing in this. And also just the training. When we had the, the uh, I think it was up in, where was it? In, in New York, not Chautauqua, but somewhere we had, we had that plane accident that Byron Dorgan was so fascinated in. And it turned out that the pilots were, Buffalo, the, the pilots were just tired because they come all the way from the west coast to the east coast to get on a little plane that goes from somewhere to somewhere else. And there are no rules or regulations of any sort which say that they have to have a decent amount of sleep. But we put that into legislation. They have to have sleep. They have to be tested. I don't know how far you go on drug testing, but that could be a problem. Some of this natural gas stuff, people are driving 10, 12 hours a day, and you, you, there has to be a test of how their alertness is. Uh, because these are, you know, 80 to 120,000 uh, pound trucks, and West Virginia highways are built for 45,000 pound trucks. So there's disaster around the corner. So we have a lot of smart safety improvements, and, um, and I want them to be up to date. I want this bill to pass. I mean, I have to say that, that the Senate passed a very good bill. And uh, we got, I think, 74 votes for it. It was highly bipartisan. Uh, it was highly effective, and um, I have no objections in going into a conference where we, we have not had 
anything from the House side at all because I choose to think that we will reach for a better place. But um, we're going to have to work hard to do it because we don't have much time. Thank you.